much. A little bit for us. Okay, so you can do two exercises, and the first one is a box jump burpee, and I'll show you what that is in a second, and a pull up. And you, you alternate the set, you alternate, and you go back and forth. So the first time you do 10 box jump burpees and only one pull up. Then you need to come back and do nine box jump burpees and two pull ups, and then eight and three, and then all the way until you do one box jump burpee and ten pull ups, all with as little rest as possible. You're gonna need some rest, but try to make it as minimal as possible. And one thing to remember is it always adds up to 11. The reps always add up to 11. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple box jump burpees, then, then, I'll, do then I'll do a pull up, okay. and then, uh, then I'll be done because I'm, I'm tired. All right, <laughs> all right. Hey, so box jump burpee. Be sure to go all the way to the ground. See how his chest gets to the ground all the way up? Chest to the ground all the way up. Hey, so he's doing 10 of those. 10. Okay. Come over. So first set he only does one pull-up. Right. That's it. So Josh, how long does this workout take you? I think my record is 21 minutes, and I did it with my eight-year-old son, and he buried me. He finished before I did. Awesome. But if you can get that done in under 30 minutes, you're a rock star. Awesome. All right, so most people that can do a uh, pull-up. Uh, what do you do for your pull-ups? I mean, I do jump pull-ups where yeah. you jump into it. Okay. Lat pull-downs, you got that around? Yeah, or just uh, assistant pull-ups. Assistant? Yeah, so there's an awesome challenge for coaching. So or if you don't have a box, by the way, just do a normal burpee. You can do burpee anywhere. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, right. Josh. Thank you.